What is happening people? Welcome back to Kibla Armada. It's G-Man out here in Singapore. This is another product review. Hot Toys Thanos Endgame 1-6 scale. Ooh, just got this product in and uh, oh my god, I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited about this one. Uh, epic Thanos, Warrior Thanos, you know, the one we saw in Endgame before he got busted at the end. But this is, you know, this is the one that... Um, the Thanos that we all feared, the, the angry Thanos, we, uh, Infinity War Thanos was a bit more of a mature guy, a bit more calm, you know, he's done his battle and whatnot and he just knew what his journey was, this was the one who was searching for the stones and was a bit more vicious, um, awesome, awesome figure, uh, it's huge, right, it's, this is the one I got from the Guardians of the Galaxy, um, and he's, um, as you can see, he's sitting on the phone, this one is literally it's almost the same size considering he's sitting on the phone over there compared to that one yes there's differences in the armor um obviously in the movie they'll possibly be the same fa same thanos but they change things anyway but yeah the armor you can see some of it there's more of a, there's more of a darker shade to some of his armor in this one um the helmet is different right the helmet is a lot different and then this one's just got a lot more scruff scruffle to his armor just because he's probably been in battle and all that sort of stuff they've included the the gauntlet uh with this figure which is cool uh which lights up there's batteries to it and it lights up uh which is awesome and obviously his amazing sword which is literally the length of him as well which is quite awesome it's huge um so that's pretty good um but yeah as you can see on the details it's, it's freaking awesome amazing and obviously his, his face developed based on the movie um, and the development of Thanos in the movie and whatnot. Um, the articulation's pretty okay, right? Uh, what I like is <clears throat> his arm here, there's no, you don't see the connecting joint, uh, but they made his skin, I guess, a bit more loose just so you can bend the figure and uh, bend the arm and, um, you know, not have any kind of joint placements or whatever, joint arms there, which, which sometimes look a bit awkward, like, my Wolverine, for example, up there, um, you can't see. Yeah, you can kind of see is where the shoulder connects to the arm. Uh, there's a joint there. I don't really like that sometimes. I love the way because he doesn't have clothes on, right? He's got this skin showing that they've just showed the uh, that you can just articulate that way, which is great. Um, it comes loaded. I mean, there's a box again, just epic. This Thanos was an epic, epic battle in uh, Avengers Endgame. I am pissed off that Hot Toys made another one. Uh, which is him more busted up. So again, another Endgame Thanos Hot Toys once it scale, but it's more of him busted up, and it has the uh, the the, the um, Iron Man gauntlet on that one. But you know, it's a bit annoying that they created two uh, from the same figure. They could have just at least changed the head. You know, just put a more busted up head, and maybe uh, gave that gauntlet too. Um, but instead, they created two figures. Um, and like a sucker, I bought both of them. So the other one's gonna be on its way later on. Anyway, I mean, it sucks, but I don't know. Business is business, I guess. Uh, it comes, it's, it's, I wouldn't say it's fully loaded, right? It's got fully, it's got these different arms, uh, hand positions that you can do. Um, it's got another gauntlet, right? Without the fist and everything. Um, like I said, it lights up as well, which is cool. Um, and then you've got an angry face too that you can put in. So I wouldn't say it's fully loaded and, and comes with so many things, but I mean, it's epic. It's an epic um uh, figure to have uh, especially with the collection collection um and yeah i think i think you know this one would drop well this would go down in history man in in in, in time in due time uh one of the greatest villains in, in in a comic book movie um aside from the joker i don't want to really compare but you know the way they built up thanos in the movies was just epic and and he definitely put on a great battle um obviously i see my other thanos in the background which is the iron studios one uh, I, I, I fell in love with Thanos as a character, I just think he's awesome, um, based on the movies. I mean, yes, I read the comics and whatnot, um, but I guess I, I wasn't as deep into it, um, and the movies just made him a very impactful villain uh, for me. So I, I'm, I'm a fan, I'm a fan of Thanos. Uh, but yeah, overall, it's great. Like I said, you know, this helmet does come off. Well, actually, I don't want to pull on it. It does come off. Um, so you can pull it on the angry face, you can rotate his head and everything, you can rotate the arm in different ways, you could put the helm helm you could put the helmet on the uh, on the sword, um like in the movies, you know, when he sends out when he sends out what's her name? Um Shit, I forgot Gomorrah's sister. Why have I forgot her name? 
Anyway, when he sends her out to get the freaking gauntlet, he puts his helmet on the sword and just chills. But, like, I don't see no, um, you know, you can't make him sit. Well, you're going to have to make a custom chair or something. Um, and if you want to put the sword in, you've got to make something custom to make the sword stand. So, it's not like um, they've set it up for you to create that pose. You're going to have to create that pose yourself. So, there are some limitations in regards to, you know, what you can do with him with what they send you. Like, you know, um... So, I guess, you know, same with the... I mean, this one was epic anyway. They had this chair and everything from Guardians of the Galaxy. So, I think there was a lot more to that. Uh, this one's a bit more plain, I would say. Um, so, let's see what they do with the other one, the busted up, when he's when he's all busted up, the end, that endgame one. Uh, maybe there'll be a lot more features to that. But honestly, I reckon they should have just kept it in one figure. Um, it's just a bit of a shame. But it is what it is. I'm a sucker and I bought both. So, we'll see what happens. Only one I'm missing, actually, is the Infinity War one. Uh, the more mature Thanos. But anyway, guys, I just wanted to share that with you. Just wanted to share that with you, with you. Um, I'm still excited. I'm still excited. I think I'm going to pull him right here, just standing by his side. I need to change his pose. I think I'll just have him chilling on the... Uh, take that arm down and pull it down. But anyway, um, yeah, uh, I'm going to pull it up here to go with the sort of infinity, the end game sort of thing I've got going on here. But yeah, hope you guys um, uh, enjoyed that. Um, and uh, cool, thanks everyone for your, you know, your, so, con uh, what do you call it? Feedback, likes, dislikes, all that sort of shit. The viewership, appreciate it. Appreciate all the, all, all, all the uh, responses and everything that we're getting from the channel and everything. Um, cool, I've got another review coming up soon on that guy over there, man. Uh, i got to do it properly, but coming soon. Alright, G-Man out. Peace.